Today, I am going to be making Swedish muffins or chocolate cupcakes. To start, you're going to want to preheat your oven to 329 degrees Fahrenheit. First, we got to put in two eggs. I'm going to try this with one hand. Okay. Put this hand behind my back. Uh, uh, oh, oh, no, <laughs> I'm failing. <laughs> Yay! Oh, 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 no, I got so much shells in there. I took the shells out, and now we're gonna add in three deciliters of sugar. This is gonna be one sweet muffin. That is a lot of sugar. Gotta whisk all of the sugar with the eggs. Time to measure out our salt and pure vanilla extract. The purest in the valley. One teaspoon of salt. And now, three teaspoons of pure vanilla extract. A half a deciliter of cocoa powder. Let's whisk it. Oh, it's getting everywhere. Ah. That is one chocolatey muffin. It's like chocolate heaven. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Now we're gonna add the tiny little bit of flour. It's so tiny, that's a little. There's like twice as much as sugar than there is flour. So why? Is this even how you make a cupcake or a muffin? Ah, <laughs> oh, my arm, it hurts. And now we're gonna melt 100 grams of butter to add in the Muffin mixture. That is a lot of butter. Melt. Goodness. Oh my goodness. That is like a pool. An ant can swim in that. Now, pour it all in and make sure not to burn yourself because it could be pretty hot. Whisk it all in and that. I think is the final ingredient. Alright, once it's all whisking, or what's the plural of whisk? Is it just whisk? What you're gonna do is you're gonna take your cupcake things, or I should say muffins, and place them in your muffin pan. And now, you're going to scoop it and make sure it's all even inside the little individual things. Alright, and once that's done, we're going to put it in the oven. This is a bit skeptical. It's just, it's going to be watery. There's like no flour. All right, now we're gonna put it in a preheated oven for about 12 to 15 minutes. In we go. Be careful, don't burn yourself. Timer. I guess between 12 and uh, 15, I guess. Uh, 13 minutes and...
30 seconds. We'll let it bake and we'll get right back to you. Okay, time to take them out. And uh, I did not do them for like 13 minutes. I did it more than 15 minutes. Maybe? Maybe you should put it on th 350 degrees Fahrenheit, maybe. I think that would be better than what I did. Let's take them out. Oh, jeez. Oh, my goodness. Whoa. Now, that looks like the Grand Canyon. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Um, well, there was nothing in the mixture to let it rise in the oven. Besides the eggs, that's the only thing that rose by, but, like, since there was nothing to make it rise, and it just went, poof, it just caved in. For the moment of truth, we must taste our food. <clears throat> okay, that looks like a brownie, and that looks like the inside of a brownie, sort of. Oh my god. I don't know how to describe it. It just tastes horrible. <laughs> oh, I guess you can say it sort of molds like a brownie, but we put it in a cupcake form. Or you can say muffin, according to the recipe I used online. Don't ever trust recipes you see online. Look for a legit one. The crust. It's delicious. The inside, trash. Well, there you have it. That is how you make Swedish muffins. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Goodbye.